in this session we are going to create a custom validator in angular for password and confirm password so if it has any mismatch we should throw an error or it should not throw an error okay this is we are going to implement in this video so get into the code in the previous video we already created a register form and now we are going to create a custom validator with the password and confirm password since it depend on multiple fields we have to tell a validators and you have to create a validator so i'm just giving a name for the validator as the password match validator now we are going to create a function called password match validator so i'm not going to create that function directly in the component instead i'm going to create a folder which is shared and giving a name password match dot directive dot ts file in that i'm going to create a function and giving the same name which we have added in the component dot ts file and we are mentioning it is a validator function and it accept the control of the form and the, fun the control you have to declare the interface okay so it has an abstract control interface abstract control from the angular forms and this function either returns an error or it returns null if there is no error so it returns validation errors or it returns null okay and here then i am going to take the password first so you can access the password using the control dot get off password so this field should exactly match with the name of this one okay so we are taking from that values from that form then confirm password equal to control dot get off the same name i'm just copying from here okay then if user doesn't types on the password or doesn't touch at all then we should we should not show this validation so confirm password then it should return null okay then return if the password dot value equal to equal to confirm pass confirm password dot value if both are equal we should not throw any error so you can return null else you can get you can throw an error and the error name is like a required email pattern right so we can for the min length mass length, max length so that's the key okay so you can create a key here and telling a password password mismatch so you can give any name okay and i'm giving true so whenever this error comes this variable this uh, key should be true okay so the error is done we have to import by pressing control dot it will ask for the uh, quick fix so auto import we can do auto import so once we added the password match validator going to the html we have to show the error message when the confirm password and the password doesn't matches since this error is not belongs to any of the particular field i'm going to show i'm not going to create under this element instead separately i'm going to create another small tag with a class and i'm telling if the register form dot errors having this password mismatch error and the confirm password and the password is valid otherwise if i type a empty also this error will you know if i didn't type anything at all the error will be shown so we have to avoid that so i'm just telling confirm password and password is valid but whatever they have typed there is a mismatch then we have to show a password should match so going to the application here you can see i'm just typing one two three four here and here one two three then it's showing password should match so if i removing a four from here you can see the error is not longer there so this is how we implement the password mismatch and if i type so the register button is enabled but if i type a new password the register button again got disabled 